Hey guys, this is just going to be my brief review of the Miltech Assault Molly Rucksack 50 litre in a Coyote Tan colour. Here's the rucksack. This rucksack is covered in these Molly webbing. So, although this is a 50 litre pack, you can fill it out and out and out just by putting more and more pouches on. You can put water bottle pouches on, you can put magazine pouches, which a magazine pouch, you can put so many different things and you can put rat traps in them, anything. And for hunting purposes, just fantastic. Here's an example of how you attach the mollies. So let's say that this bag's completely full now and I've still got these three essential items to put in and I'm thinking, oh no, I've run out of space. Um, this is where these mollies come in really handy. For the torch, all you need is a molly compatible pouch and you just put the torch in easier said than done with one hand velcro it up and you might have seen these before but not really know what they're, f what they're for um, just unsnap that take it out like that find a molly, let's just use this one um, put it in, thread it through snap it onto the back again there it is on. That took about five seconds to put on. Knife, little clip on the back. Slide that on. Memora clipper. Just put that in. Say that was snapped on there, same as those two. And that's just how you build it up really. Just keep clipping stuff onto the side and take it from there. The, the rucksack has two compression straps on either side. Here's them undone. On the other side that's them done up. And you can squeeze these so that the pack goes really flat. That reduces the space which means you can use it for college which is what I use it for. For work. Something like that. If you want to take it out on a weekend, you can just uns unstrap those, go down to the bottom of the pack, take these out here, undo those, and this whole bottom folds out to about here. That's how you get the full capacity in the rucksack. This rucksack doesn't come with these zip tags. I put these on myself, uh, I made them, it doesn't take very long to make if you want to see how to make them and also if you want to see how to make a bracelet like this just leave it in the comments, ask if you want to see it or not uh, also this chest strap did not come with it I took this off a Proforce 30 litre day sack and just put it through this webbing and attached it this really does help uh, when you put it on your chest it helps take the weight off your back the amount of pouches that's in this rucksack is unbelievable it's got one, two, three, four main pouches and inside these pouches there's little ones so I'll go through that now first one on the front I put my phone, headphones, little torch, stuff like that in there really good for things that you just need to get out quickly um, if you're a hunting situation, you'd probably put your range finder in there, uh, bits of paracord, stuff like that to build a hide. Then the next front one is bigger stuff. Little woolly hat. My pencil case for college. Uh, it's got pen, pen holders. Keep everything safe in there. Bus pass, ideal for holding that. <laughs> Then we've got the sort of next biggest compartment, which is this one here. That folds out. Just 
I've got my waterproof jacket in there. Really spacious. You c one of the great things about this rucksack is that you can fold your clothes in rather than if it was just a normal tube sack with a o with a little um, clip there where you open it like the traditional walk-in rucksack. You'd have to stuff your clothes in, but with these you can fold them neatly, put them in, which allows you to fit a lot more in. And on to the biggest one. This is one of the great pieces I like about it, is that it opens like an actual suitcase. And I've got my laptop in there. So, whatever you use in this rucksack for, it will do the job. You can use this for a swimming bag if you're into swimming, which I am. Uh, just put all your kit in there, as this is waterproof. This is a real sort of... I think it's a... It's this, but covered in a plastic all around the outer outer layers it's got covered in this plastic um, like in there so the, the piece of material that's outside that's going to get rained on has got this shower proof material in these pouches as well all of that um, little zip in here put the bits and bobs in we've got a mesh pouch here which you could I don't know put your laptop charger in or something but whether you're using this for work, college, shooting, walking, it'll do the job just fine. To show that it is good for hunting, I've got seven shell decoys. Chuck them in there. I've got a magpie as well. And you could probably fit a hide net or some, we could fit a lot more kit in there. Maybe a couple of crow decoys as well. But that just throws over there, absolutely no problem. Tons of space, that's virtually empty with those in. So you could quite easily go on a decoying trip with this rucksack. Decoys hide everything in there. Second pouch, your dinner, lunch, uh, drink, range finders, other little miscellaneous bits of kit, pellets and what have you. So yeah, I reckon this is a all-round bag for whatever you want. This bag does come in a lot of different colours. As I said, this is the Coyote Tan. It comes in a arid woodland, which is like the new army multicam. It's got red, grey, drab, olive. All about the same price. This bag cost, I think it was £30, with £5 postage from a website called Camo Outdoors, I think it is, I'll put a link in the description. Really good shot. Uh, it's based in Ireland. Shipping did not take long at all. I think it was four, four to five days. Not really much at all. Great service and a great bit of kit. Highly recommended. The back has got a hydration pack. I can't open it because I've only got one hand. Yep, back comes with hydration pack, lovely and padded. These shoulders are quite comfortable. So yeah. And when it's when it's on your back, it looks awesome. Really good military bit of kit. So I'll open it all out now and show you how it extends uh, so you can get the full use out of it. So this is how I usually wear it, because I don't usually take much stuff to college. These are normally fastened down, tightened really tight, so it's just flat, compact, nice. But then when I go hunting at the weekend, it just all comes out into this big, wide, Bergen type thing. And I uh, can't say enough good about it really. Can't, I can't comment on the durability as I've only had it around a week. But my dad's... This, the, the only reason I got this is because I saw my dad's. He's had his for, I'd say, just over a year. It's just like new. He takes it every day to work. And there's not really any wear in it, as far as I can see. This carrying strap. See how many times that's sewed on. With two layers. One thicker layer, and then the... Uh, sort of nylon webbing in the middle going over that'll hold out for ages 
it's not going anywhere. Not a problem with wearing a rifle either. As you can see, won't come off. The strap can just go right over the top of this large strap here. It's on there solid. You can just walk normally freely. Great. They're the original zips. They're okay, but not very good. With this bag, I would recommend getting the 50 litre rather than the 30 litre because this is the perfect size for me anyway and I think the 30 litre would just be too small at least for hunting purposes, bushcraft purposes or walking you just wouldn't be able to fit enough in it for a day So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little review of my Miltech Molly Assault Pack. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.